Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to quickly restore your Acer laptop to its factory or initial state when you first got your computer. So this is a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So let's say you have a very cluttered computer and it's acting very slow and you've already backed up all of your important files, documents, pictures and whatnot. This tutorial will be for you, and like I just kind of went through very nonchalantly, I would recommend you back everything up that's important to you before you proceed with this tutorial, because as the title suggests, this will do a complete clean reinstall of Windows 10. So we're going to jump into it, and we're going to start by left clicking on the start button. So now once we're into the start menu, you want to type in reset should be something that says reset this PC it should come up right underneath a best match and right below reset this PC there should be something that says system settings you want to left click on that and now underneath settings you want to left click on this get started button underneath reset this PC if your PC isn't running well resetting it might help this lets you choose to keep your files or remove them and then reinstalls Windows well, that definitely sounds like what we're trying to accomplish here today. So, we're going to start by clicking on this Get Started button. Now we have two options here, Keep Your Files or Remove Everything. We're going to select Remove Everything because we've already determined that is what we want to do. It's going to say Getting Things Ready. This won't take long. I would recommend you allot a solid 30 minutes to an hour for this tutorial. I'm just letting you guys know that before we get too deep. And it's going to ask, do you want to clean the drives too? Well, we can do two options here. We can just remove the files. So this is quicker but less secure. Use this if you're keeping this PC. Uh, or you can select remove files and clean the drive, which might take several hours, but it'll make it harder for someone to recover your removed files. Use this if you're recycling the PC. So most people are going to be keeping the computer, so we're going to select just remove my files. You can do this later option as well, but I would recommend just doing the first option for most people is sufficient. So again, it's very kind of misleading. It says this won't take long, but it will take a little bit of time this whole process, so just be patient. And it should say ready to reset this PC. Resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC, any apps and programs that did not come with this PC, and any changes made to settings. This will take a while and your PC will restart. At this point, click on this restart button. It's going to say getting a few things ready. It is going to take a little bit of time. I don't believe there's really any user interaction that has to take place right now. So we're going to just let this run and I'm going to keep the video recording just so you guys get a picture for how long this process will take. My guess is it probably will take about 10 to 15 minutes given how quick this computer is, the relatively small hard disk size and whatnot. So again, I'm going to let this run here and I will be back.
Okay, so I decided to fast forward for a little bit of that, but the next main screen we get onto says reset this PC. Your PC has been reset, but we couldn't remove all your personal files. If you plan on giving away or recycling this PC, try resetting it again. Click got it. Give it another moment here. Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here, it should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now.
and there we go we can see we are logging into Windows and it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left, and we can see that we have a fresh install of Windows 10 on this computer. Please keep in mind this will take some time to do this whole process, but I do hope the end result is what you're looking for. And again, I appreciate you guys watching this tutorial. I hope I helped you out, and as always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.